Hello, I'm Dr. Fiona. Let's talk about ROP. ROP, or its full name, Retinopathy of Prematurity, is a disorder where there's abnormal vascularization of the retina of premature infants. Disease progression is influenced by multiple factors such as gestational age, birth weight, oxygen levels, and sepsis. Prompt treatment will avoid complications of ROP such as visual impairment and blindness. This video discusses the final points of ROP treatment with laser. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Come in. I'm uh, sorry for disturbing up here. Yeah. I'm a bit sassy. Hmm. You're asking me a question. I'm an ophthalmologist. You know how to spell ophthalmologist or not? I'm the eye doctor, okay? You should be telling me where, where are the patients that I need to screen, not to ask me the criteria. Faster, go find out. Sorry, What's the list? Sorry, Which should we screen for ROP? Oh, yeah, oxygen. Yes. This baby, oh, this baby is on two seconds of oxygen. Yeah, I think we should be the one to scream for oxygen. Yes, this is the one. Sorry for this, doctor. Doctor, these are the patients that need to scream for ROP tomorrow. Oh, this baby? Uh? Yes, all oh, this tomorrow. This is all for ROP? Yes, all for ROP tomorrow, doctor. What? No! No! Really? Uh? Yeah. No, 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 no. The ophthalmologist should need screening and treatment of ROP. Following approved guidelines will ensure that time and resources are not wasted on unwarranted ROP referrals. Come in. Hello, doctor. Doctor, sorry for disturbing. Yeah, I'm a piece of smoke. I'm not going to ask which baby should be screened for ROP. Uh, we could follow the current CPG guideline for ROP. Uh, it's either the baby with uh, perfect less than 1.5 kilogram or premature baby less than 32 weeks or uh, a stable clinical cause of the baby. Oh, okay. So you mean that like this baby with uh, two symptoms of oxygen? Uh, not really. Do you have any other conditions? Oh, uh, how about um, this baby with two months of oxygen? Hmm, this baby is uh, quite suitable for the uh, screen. Okay, okay. Patient, why taking so long? 11 o'clock already, yeah. doctor must go for lunch. Yeah. Number call, come in la. Okay. Take so long, doctor must go for lunch. Sorry, just see the Can wrap your baby properly ah. Mm -hmm. I won't wrap for you. Yeah, I want to examine your baby. Nurse, this is the biggest speculum ah. Uh -huh. The bigger one don't have ah. No. Okay la, use this one la. Yeah. Sure, that, that's fine then. Quite, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's quite big. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay for you, baby. What are you doing to my baby? What are you doing to my baby? What are you doing to my baby? Oh, my baby? Be polite during the examination and fully explain the examination process. Should parents prefer to be in the examination room, they should be seated to avoid basal vehicle episodes. Okay, nurse, come. Let's call the next patient in. Good morning, I'm Dr. Fiona. I'll be checking your baby's eyes today. Today we'll have a look to see if the retina that is the back of the back of the eye is fully developed. During this procedure, I'll be instilling this eye drop into baby's eyes to make sure the eye doesn't feel any pain. Then I will put this metal clip just to open the eyes a little bit. It's a very small clip, you see? Very, very small. Won't damage the eyelids, okay? To make sure I get a good view of the back of baby's eyes. During this procedure, would you like to stay in the room or would you prefer to wait outside? It's your choice. Okay, no problem. If you're okay with that, just place baby here and then have a seat on the chairs provided. Alice, please come help. I'll start off by placing the anesthetic drop. Then, I'll use my microscope to have them Start with the right eye. Maybe it's okay. Okay. And then the left eye. Okay, we're done. Maybe it's oh. no problem. Oh, See, I told you. I told you. It's okay. Uh, no problem. Okay. Okay.
Ready for laser? Ready, Doctor. Okay. Bye. Baby, it's you, me, and the laser. <laughs> Small pupil, no problem. Let's go. Supporting staff should be around to assist in case of emergencies and they should be wearing protective glasses to prevent inadvertent laser burns to the retina. The pupil should be fully dilated, if not, subconjunctival midrocaine can be used. Ideally, two people should perform the laser. If not possible, the ophthalmologist in charge should take frequent breaks and use different types of indentation to look for skip lesions. Ready, ready for laser? Ready. My doctor. Wait, nurse, we must assist us in case of emergency. Please wear these goggles. The baby's eyes is fully dilated already. It's good for laser. I do the first eyes, you do the second eye, okay? Okay. Thank you everybody for the yes, yeah. um, uh, Sorry to disturb you. Okay, remember the baby with RP that we do a laser yesterday? Yeah. Won't you like to see them? Uh, no need to see them. We laser here, right? Yeah. So, laser, you know, by the lightsaber in Star Wars? Huh? <laughs> Everything will resolve. Zap, zap, okay? Okay, right. so, no need. Bye. Okay, see you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bye. Right. Sorry mm. to disturb you. Mm. You remember the case, the baby with RP that we, do, we didn't give any TCA? Okay, so today the baby come with the mother. Right, very good. Uh, I can see there's a white thing inside the eye. So I think. And the other thing is, I can see the retina is flying here and there, you know. Huh? Retina flying yeah. everywhere? Retina is the one, is it? I think. Huh? No! No! Laser is not the end of RP treatment. Patients post laser should be reviewed regularly to look for disease recurrence and the possibility of retreatment. Visual rehabilitation is essential for these patients as they are at higher risk of developing myopia, strabismus, and amblyopia. Uh, remember the baby with ROP that we did laser yesterday? Yes. So, when will be the next follow up? Okay, first you must check the anterior segment. Mm -hmm. If there's any signs of infection or any trauma post laser. If everything is okay, I will see the patient back in one week's time. When we need so close uh, follow up and monitoring because our appointment currently is very packed. Okay, this patient needs to be routinely followed up mm -hmm. because ROP is a lifelong and a long term disease. So, laser only changes the course of the disease, mm -hmm. but he still needs to be under proper follow up. Okay, I will okay, make sure he will be put under a proper follow up. Okay, alright. Okay.